Hi everyone, Larry Feldman with Lesson 1B on Logarithms. Why Lesson 1B? Because it dawned on me that I won't be able to cover everything I'd like to cover regarding logarithms in three videos, so I'm inserting a short video into the mix to talk about log restrictions. So let's look at a typical log function, y equals log base b of x. And the first restriction is that the base b must be greater than 0. So let's look at a counterexample. y equals log base negative 2 of 6. And you can see that we violated the restriction by making the base negative 2. Converting to exponential form, we get negative 2 to the y equals 6. And this is where things get ugly. So look, let's look at a couple or a few possibilities for y. Let's say y is positive and y is an even in integer. Let's see what happens. Uh, so for example, let's say y is 4. That is... Uh, a good example because in this case because it's it's positive and, and it's an even integer and if we let y equal 4 we get negative 2 to the fourth which is 16 and uh, let's try y equals 2 in which case we get negative 2 squared which is 4 and we have now surrounded the 6, but you can tell that we've run out of options for even integers. Um, then we can also try something like letting y be um, positive. And let's make it an odd integer. For example, let's say y equals 3, we get negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8, so that doesn't work. How about y equals 1, negative 2 to the first, uh, that's negative 2. Uh, so this, this doesn't look promising. And uh, let's, let's try y is negative, and and it's an even integer. I'll just start abbreviating here. And um, let's pick a value for, for y. For example, let's say y equals negative 2. Now we get negative 2 raised to the power of negative 2, which is 1 over negative 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. So this doesn't look promising either. And this type of problem is, is really a nightmare because um, in general, if you graph this type of uh, function, it's going to oscillate between negative and positive values sometimes. Um, we have strange cases where if y is a rational number that's positive and the denominator is even, you're trying to take an even root of a negative number which doesn't give you a solution in the real number system. Um, all kinds of strange behavior uh, occurs. So um, this isn't a complete explanation. We'd have to dig a lot deeper and spend a lot more time, but I think it should suffice for now, and I, and I think you see where where some of the uh, problems lie, at least I, I, at least I hope so. So that's restriction number one, and fortunately, that's the toughest restriction to explain. It gets it gets easier from here. So let me just make some room, and let's do let's do restriction number two. Uh, restriction number two says that b cannot equal one. And again, let's look at a counterexample. Y equals log base 1 of 4, converting to exponential form, 1 to the y equals 4, and there's no solution here. 
uh, 1 to any power is 1. The left side will never e equal the right side. Um, so restriction number 2 is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, restriction number 3 says that x must be greater than 0. And um, x, I just want to introduce a, a new term here. x is called the argument. And I'm going to be using this term in other log videos, so I wanted to mention it here. The argument must be positive. So again, let's let's look at a counterexample. Y equals log base 4 of, let's say, negative 16. Converting to exponential form, we get 4 to the Y equals negative 16. And a common uh, mistake that students make is thinking that uh, y equals negative 2 would solve this problem. Let's try it. Uh, 4 to the negative 2 is 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 16th. So, so that doesn't work. And actually, if you raise a positive number to any power, you'll always get a positive result. So there, there will never be a solution um, in a problem like this. Now, um, just for food for thought, y equals log base negative 2 of negative 2. It will probably uh, start an interesting discussion and it might even earn you some extra credit because negative 2 to the y equals negative 2, uh, which leaves y equals 1 as a solution. Now, this looks like a perfectly valid problem. Uh, even though we have violated uh, rule number one and rule number three, and I will indicate the violations with these scary red X's, um, and the explanation is not really that straightforward. Um, it's kind of complicated. I'd say it's beyond the scope of, of this video. Otherwise, um, we could be talking for hours about this. And I'm not just saying that to, to get out of a, a discussion, but um, I would encourage you to talk to your teacher about problems like this and why typically you will not encounter uh, questions of, of this nature where you are violating um, the rules um, and, and yet still coming up with valid answers. So that's it for now. Please visit my website, www.lfeldman.com, for links to my mobile apps covering almost everything between algebra and calculus with hundreds of examples, tutorials, and solvers. Thanks. See you next time.